Hey everyone, this is David Wallerman. This is Jenny. Hi guys, good to see you. And Jenny has a super interesting channel and it's all about learning how to play this thing, right? Right. <laughs> and you're doing it in front of other people. Too. Right, yeah, I just started learning guitar in November 2016 and this is also when my channel started. Mm -hmm. So it just have been a couple of months yet, so it's yeah. <laughs> awesome and inspiring and thank you for asking me to I'll try to teach her something. You might be teaching me something too. Yeah, yeah. Thanks <laughs> like for teaching having me too. <laughs> learning too. Yeah, yeah sure. right, right. So while well, we're going to get started, I thought we'd do um, hopefully a musical exercise on finger independence a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we'll get started with that. Here we go. Jenny, you ready? Yes. So we're going to use these three fingers. Yes. The thumb, the index, and the middle finger. Uh-huh. Um, this can change as you, as you go, but I think these are probably the easiest ones. And we're not going to worry about chord names or anything. Okay, great. The main thing in this exercise is to keep a consistent rhythm. Uh-huh. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the thumb always on the lowest string, the low E up. That's all we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And then the index is going to be on the second string. Yep. And the middle finger on the top string. So that's those strings are assigned to those fingers like that. Yeah, exactly. There you go. And a lot of ways to doing that. We could just do it all at once. Perfect. But we're going to go a little step further. We're going to try to add rhythm with that. Yeah. And we'll do it really slow, but basically we're going to do uh, four notes. We're going to do uh, the thumb, the index, the, the middle, and back to the index. Yeah, that's it. So mm -hmm. that's four notes, and we want to get to a point where it can be one, two, three, four. Really consistent. Perfect. Yeah, and the more we do that, the more our fingers are, they, it's almost like there's memory in the fingers, and they kind of remember exactly where they should be. And it's important to do this on the same guitar mm -hmm. throughout, because every neck is different, every Everything is a little different. So when you're practicing, if you can practice on the same guitar all the time, I think yeah. that's a good good thing to do. Yeah. Like, I only have that guitar. Like, I have mm -hmm. a classic one, but I totally not. I can't. It's like the neck it's, is yeah, too big. Yeah, super thick. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just, like, having that one, mm -hmm. and I'm practicing with that. And I love that one. <laughs> it's it, like yeah, <laughs> we talked a little bit off camera, and that's your yeah. guitar. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> so once you have that, that rhythm thing, we're going to start adding some notes. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think really early on when you start playing, you need to involve your ear instead of thinking, this is C major, this is how it's played. You always have to involve your ear to listen to what you're playing. Do you like the sound? Do you not? If you don't, then don't worry about that chord or that lick that you're playing. Just forget it. Yeah. Find something that you like. Mm -hmm. And this is what this is all about. Because if we just play this as our basic, basic thing, we can start adding some notes, and we can just add some notes of the low E string, and we can just kind of explore. Some are going to work well, and I'm just changing that, right, just the frets. Some mm -hmm. are not going to work as well, like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Actually, that's cool too. <laughs> They're all cool. Yeah. <laughs> They'll work. Okay, that one is a little... Oh, yeah, I mean, it is, but it sounded good just like walking the over. It's sounding thing. Yeah, and that's that's awesome. Like if you f if you think that this sounds good, that's awesome. That's great. Yeah. And if someone else doesn't, don't worry about it. Okay. It's, it's your music. You're mm -hmm. in control of it. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna try to do is to just explore this and try to make a piece of music, call it a song, call it an improv, whatever it is. Yeah. That sounds good to you. All right. So let's just. Get started and just try. So Explore. I'll just like, what finger do I use best to just um, play one good, note? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I don't think there's a rule here. I've been using the middle, yeah. but you can use any finger that is comfortable to you. Okay, so I just. What? Yeah. Nice. So as you're exploring these frets, like you're kind of taking a mental note of, ooh, I like this, or no, I don't like this. Yeah. I 
And so the ones you really I like, like those one. are the ones that I do too. I like that too. I like it. <laughs> yeah. And you're making music right away. That's true. It's just one finger. That's cool. I like that. And the cool thing is that as you're doing this, you can then take that and uh, explore other strings. So you keep this co constant. But then you can maybe try, instead of using the thumb on the low string, the fifth one, and same thing. I like that too. Just one note at a time, you're exploring different sounds like that. So this doesn't make sense because I'm not using that string. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's the hard part of this because you've got to like adjust your thumb depending on where you're at. Yeah. But what I would suggest is maybe uh, do two strings at a time, like the low string and the fifth. Mm -hmm. And then try to, even if it's really slow, think, okay, my thumb is on the low string, therefore my left hand needs to be on the low string. And then yeah, right. just kind and of get used to it. So, yeah. so you're getting also to know where, where the strings are and yeah. where the frets are and stuff because for me it's really hard when I started I just started picking like I, I can just do like yeah. not good like it's like this that's it I think it like, sounds great it's just it's getting a bit more on but it's I don't mm -hmm. know I have not memory yet but um, for me it's really hard to like get get it right getting yeah. the strings like see here i'm, yeah. I'm pressing that string and i'm playing that over, like i'm putting here on the fret and playing on mm -hmm. that string but it's like i like, don't know where it is yet so yeah it's and not automatic it, it will come i don't think it's something that i mean yeah you can work on it a little bit but mm -hmm. don't worry too much about it because you you knew that you were wrong yeah so yeah just knowing you will automatically kind of adjust mm -hmm. right um, but that's the idea, and then you can uh, be even more creative. Maybe you decide, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing this, but this time I'm gonna add notes on the highest string. Oh. And you can alternate. And this is how, how the melody is coming up. Yeah. Like just yeah. doing single notes. Yeah, because you always have this constant thing. You just explore different things and see what yeah, works and write a song. Yeah, so you're keeping the rhythm and then you find mm -hmm. the melody to put over it, something yep. like that. Yep, just using your ear. Like we're not talking about chords, like we, we don't know what this is. Yeah, so not at all. Up, but that's not important for now. That so sounded kind of really good. I'm, yeah. I'm impressed actually. <laughs> I didn't, like to me it's all just like getting how to play songs yeah. and not thinking about just doing, just like playing Mm -hmm. and, and adding notes on it, it's yeah. just like making something up on your own and not just trying to play a song that you like. It's yeah. totally different. Like, I never thought mm -hmm. about that, actually. Like, I, I think that we all have songs inside yeah. or that come. Like, a lot of songs come to me when I'm walking or meditating, praying, whatever, yeah. and I hear it, and then I have to try to bring it out. And... I think that if you only learn songs that exist, I mean, that's cool. I'm not, no yeah, disrespect sure. to people to no, do no. that. But maybe they're missing out on some beautiful music that is inside of you and nobody can play it because it's inside yeah. of you. Yeah. Well, this is inspiring me a lot. Cool. Like, I'm thinking about just going home and getting a rhythm done and yeah. just putting on something on. And it's just really nice. It sounds create really good. Something. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you have fun with it. Yeah, thank you. It's like, you're welcome. It's like you don't have to. Like when you're, and I think I want to mm -hmm. say, sorry guys, I'm keep that <laughs> short, but it's just coming up to my mind. It's like when you're trying to get a song, you and practice. It's like you always you're thinking it's not that, it's not that yet. And when mm -hmm. you're just practicing doing stuff on your own, there's nothing that you have to relate to. So yeah. you can just yes, have exactly. your own like you can have your own. Uh, I don't know a word for it. What's it in English? It's late already. Um, <laughs> it's like. You're having your own goals mm -hmm. and it's 
Yeah. Yeah. You know what I want to say? I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so frustrating. That's yeah, what I yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah. say. <laughs> and the cool thing is that it's not a competition thing. Like you don't right. have to compete against anyone. Right. And then that thing, like if you do something like this, you can be super excited that nobody's done this before. Yeah. And maybe, but not like you. Like it's not something that exists. It's something new. Well, thanks for showing that. You're welcome. I hope you come up with something new. Yeah, I and will, definitely. When you do, if you find something cool, write a song and tag me on it. And I'll, I I'll will. keep you guys posted. I will. Thanks for having You're me. You're welcome. And, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> uh, check out um, Jenny's channel. I'll leave all the link below and somewhere on the screen here. Subscribe to her and see her progress. Thank you. And the cool <laughs> thing also is that not only you, you're learning, but uh, people who watch can learn what you're learning too. So it's, right, right. it's pretty awesome. Right. Can't wait to meet here again next year and see how far you, you, you've gone. We it's definitely great. will do that. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Bye see you guys. next time. Bye. See you.